for stopping by my channel and we are going through the October extravaganza and I bet you guys said thought to yourself she's not gonna have any more mystery boxes from Etsy well that's where you're wrong because I have another one right here in my hands this is from favorite haunts and I believe this is supposed to be a haunted item do I believe in haunted items? I'm skeptical on lots of things, uh, but I do it for fun. I do it for entertainment. Uh, do I summon the devil in the middle of the night? No, I do not. <laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know that I am not about that kind of stuff. But I am curious and curiosity sometimes does kill the cat. The owner of this Etsy shop asked me what kind of things I would like. And I said, no dolls, please. No dolls. I don't like dolls. I don't care if they're haunted or not. I don't like them. So she was cool about it. And she said, thank you from um, Favorite Haunts. Let's get into it, shall we? Inside of the box looks like this has been in my house for over a month. So if there's anything haunted in here, nothing has happened. Oh, wow. There's like a whole like camp. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Okay, let's see. Please take a moment to rate a good review. If you loved your order, thank you. I always leave honest reviews. Dear Tiffany, thank you for your order. I hope you have a wonderful experiences with this box. I'll be interested in your conclusions. Enjoy. Please stay safe and healthy. Best wishes. Kathleen from Favorite Haunts. So there's the card and that's the cool card that she sent me. She also sent me a good luck pocket charm, which is cool. So you're sending me haunted stuff, but then you're sending me <laughs> good luck. This little red heart will not only bring you luck, but it may also give you good luck in love and matters of the heart. Just carry it in your pocket and see what happens. Enjoy. A surprise for you from Favorite Haunts surprise for you and here is the good luck heart do i believe in good luck things good luck charms no i don't believe in that either but it is cute all right we got some background info holy moly <laughs> wow you guys i'll be right back i'm gonna read this so i know what we're getting into and then i'll give you a summary okay i read this this is a three page long explanation of what's going on in the box. Um, to summarize very briefly because this video is gonna be too long. This these items belonged to someone named Mary and Roger and they were acquired from an estate sale. The daughter's name is Sherry and the seller knew Sherry uh, since junior high and she was the cousin's neighbor. Um, so there are some things in this box that were considered Roger's secrets. Unfortunately, the poor guy died of a heart attack in 2007. Interestingly enough, a lot of this stuff takes place in Pennsylvania, which is the state that I live in. There's a, a rock in here, a stone that gets either super hot or super cold, and it actually has burned tables before. She said that the things usually start occurring after the box is opened, which I just opened. And she says that everybody has some level of psychic ability. It just depends on how much focus and thought you put into it. She says paranormal things happen. Sometimes it doesn't happen right away. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all. And sometimes it happens subtly or very boldly. Um, whenever they de dealt with the items in this box, they smelt vanilla or coconut very strongly. I have a bad sense of smell. I don't smell that. Um, she says she's an empath. And she said that she would never s sell anything from her Etsy shop that she believed to be demonic or evil. But let's go ahead and open it up. That's just very brief. There's a lot of detail that I do appreciate that she, I will probably read again on my own time. But here's the first thing. She said there's some things that happen that she's not gonna tell me about and just see if it happens to me. There's also a photograph. There's also a photograph in here. It's a very old photo. So the photographs were mentioned in the vid in the in there. These even if it's not haunted, these photographs are just so cool to look at. Look at what they're wearing. Look at the cars. Like it's just so amazing. Like history, you know. So this is just a photograph. This is oh, so he had like a thing with Valentine's Day, 
he was really into Valentine's Day. And it says, with love from me to Miss Wilson. So I'm wondering, I don't remember if I read if that was before they got married or not. But this is totally super, super old. She did mention something about a hotel. Neat. Wow. Okay, so these are matchsticks from a hotel in Katanning, which is freakishly close to where I live. This is Staley's Motel, routes 28 and 66 north of Katanning. Um, that's so cool because she, I don't know, maybe she, she picked this box stuff out for me because of where I live. But those are matchsticks from a very long time ago. Okay, so she sent me um, amethysts and rose quartz hearts. And amethysts are spiritual protection and purification, cleansing one's energy field of negative influences and attachments. Rose quartz is a stone of universal love. It restores trust and harmony in relationships. I'm not going to read everything just because of time. But those are some more stones. Next thing. Is this the rock? The rock? So I guess Roger was really into collecting rocks because he traveled. And this is, I think, the rock. And it is very cold. It is much colder than the room temperature. But I think, like, isn't that... Don't rocks... This is really cold. Like, more than I would think a rock could hold coldness. But I'm trying not to look too much into it. But this is the rock that she talked about that has the different shades of gray. I'm going to put this up here for now. Pretty cool. So he was like a rock collector and that specific rock is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Here's another bag. Box. So this is the brooch. She did mention something about a brooch. This is pretty. This is a very pretty brooch. I'm going to keep this. I'm not going to give it away, even though I probably won't wear it. It is just nice. So I guess Sherry had these things and weird stuff was happening in her house. Lights blinking, hot and cold breezes above her head. The photo face down on the coffee table when it was face up. Slamming cupboards and things were moved around off. And the next day she decided enough is enough. And she called me to ask me if I would take the things off her hands. And then sell it to me. Okay, so the brooch was her mother's brooch. And it was in a box of her father's things. I feel weird owning like somebody else's things. But I mean, I guess somebody has to, right? This is a really nice box too. Rembrandt Rose, which was mentioned in the writings. I'm gonna actually put the brooch back in there. It definitely has like, you know when you go to like a really old person's house or like an estate sale and there's just this smell. It's like an antique smell. I don't know. Here's the last thing. I think this is a box that she was talking about in the note that I did not read to you. <laughs> definitely smells like coconut. I'm definitely smelling coconut. Okay, so this is the box. And it was sealed in wax. Here are some engravings on the top, which I think are really nice. They're just wild, wild, wildlife fowl. And there's wax everywhere now. She said, um, let me see here. She says, wax sealed boxes are terribly misunderstood ever since the infamous Dybbuk box, D-Y-B-B-U-K box, upon which the film called The Possession was based. I think I've seen that. They open the box and then really bad things start to happen. Um, wow, it really smells like coconut. I read all the documentations about the demonic entity trapped in the wooden, bo wooden wine box and in the book. The Dybbuk box, written by Jason Haxton the director of AT, uh, still University's Museum of Osteopathic Medicine, the guy who originally owned the haunted Dybbuk box, in the end admitted he made it up himself. Another important po point is that many of these boxes are actually memory boxes created when someone dies. I have opened old wax sealed boxes after I assess them. I would not be afraid to open this box. It radiates a strong feeling of love and a vanilla fragrance. Please ask if you are have any questions or concerns. So we're going to open it. It is wax sealed. You see that? It's wax sealed. I'm sure she opened it and re-waxed re it. She didn't. Oh yeah, it's, it's open. Oh, wax every Wax everywhere. Ditus, do not eat the wax. Here's the box. This says, to Roger, love always, Betty. Did I say who Betty was? I forget. 
This was Mary's best friend. So Mary and Roger were the married couple and Mary was Be uh, Betty was Mary's best friend. So this is a picture of Betty. But that's what it says on the back. Wait, is this Betty? Dude. <laughs> Did you send me ashes? <laughs> this is a little bo a little bottle, okay? With what appears to be sa ashes of Betty. <laughs> I don't know if I signed up for this. <laughs> Betty, I'm sorry. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve to be in my house. Like you, maybe I'll spread her out into the woods, you know, be one with nature. I don't know that I feel comfortable if this really, she said nothing about anything about this. Um, and we've got some sand with some fake flowers in it that she didn't mention at all. I don't know what this is all about. Maybe this was a location that they liked to go to. I don't know. Interesting. He was really into, oh, good Lord. Okay, this has a lock of someone's hair. Maybe it's Mary. Betty looks like, no, it could be Betty's. It doesn't say, but Betty was a brunette. I don't think I have, do I have a picture of Mary? I don't think I do. Wait, maybe I do. Do I have a picture of Mary? Yeah. So it was, so this could either be Mary's hair or Betty's hair. I don't know. I'm assuming it's Mary because uh, Roger probably probably made this for her because he was really into Valentine's Day. So now I have a hair of someone. That's <sighs> okay. And then the rest of the box has stones that Roger collected and some seashells, which I don't think were mentioned. I don't remember them being mentioned. Anyways, now. I have, I have interesting things that I was not expecting. So, Betty, <laughs> yeah, because I mean, ashes are usually white, right? It's not sand. You sent me Betty? Okay, Betty, and we got um, the good luck heart. The, the purple heart, the quartz, I think that was amethyst. So you got the rose quartz heart. This, the dirt or the sand with some fake flowers in it. A lock of who I assume to be Mary's hair? Or is it Roger's hair? I don't know, somebody's hair is on a, is on a heart. Um, we got this card. For this photo, I mean. And Betty's photo. Um, we got the match, match booklet here. We got this postcard that looks legit to me. It looks very old. Is that everything? You guys, this video took a turn. I was not expecting this video to be this heavy and this deep about these these people that passed away. I hope I didn't heart, I hope I, you know, I, I'm trying to be respectful. I hope I'm not doing anybody any disservice, but this is the box. Um, you know, rest in peace, you guys. Betty, Roger, and Mary, and yeah. I'm gonna have to reread this again, um, but that was that was it. What'd you guys think? I'm gonna have to edit this. Um, whew, I feel like heavy. Like that was like this was uh, this has all been fun and games, and now it just kind of feels like really serious and like legit and like was not was not ready for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much. If you if you've came if you've come this far, could you leave me an emoji? you pick any emoji is fine um how, what did you think like i i don't know what to say about this but um i think that might have been the last the last box the last mystery box that i purchased from etsy you know you got to be careful what you buy sometimes out there you never know <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for hanging out with me putting up with my weirdness all the randomness the darkness the lightness and everything i do on my channel and i will see you guys next time bye